What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and learn about the best places to travel in Oslo. I have reacted to several cities in Norway, but Oslo is by far the biggest, most popular, and by far the most well-known city in Norway by Americans, for sure, by a long shot. Which is good, I mean, it's impressive that Americans even know any Norwegian uh, cities, to be perfectly honest, but I always love learning more about Oslo. And today we have this little video, it's the Oslo Vacation Travel Guide. Uh, where it, this has like almost a million views, this video. So I think, honestly, a lot of people around the world probably watch this YouTube video to get a good idea of where they want to vacation and travel to in Oslo. This probably affects a lot of people. So I think it'd be very interesting to see, and especially because Expedia, who makes this video, does a really, really good job making their videos and filming it, and it's like a movie or something, it's great. So I'm very excited to see the top Oslo vacation travel destinations in Oslo. Let's check it out. Way southeast is the beautiful city of Oslo. Oh, there as it is. As well as being the country's capital and cultural heart, Oslo is also the gateway to Norway's natural beauty. The gateway to Norway's natural beauty. The gateway. I mean, Norway is like almost entirely natural beauty. So I don't know if I agree with that. All of Norway is very beautiful from what I have seen. I always forget that Oslo and so many of the Norwegian cities are by the water, which is like, it's like a cheat code. It's not fair. It makes everything so much more beautiful. America needs more cities by the water. Ah, oh, yep. Salt water runs deep in the veins of this sophisticated city. Ah. In recent years, the rugged dock areas that launched so many adventures have been reinvented as an entertainment hub. Oh. Oh, I don't know what I think about that. So they've uh, kind of redesigned and remade a lot of the old shipping docks in Oslo to become entertainment hubs for tourism or something. I mean, that's great for tourists. That's great for like people like me or Americans who go visit Oslo. But I hope they're not like dismantling the historical artifacts and places in Oslo to do that. Fashionable cafes and restaurants sit easily here amidst centuries of history. Okay. The Åkerbrygge district is a popular meeting place for both locals and visitors. A popular meeting place. He called it the Åkerbrygge district. Okay. Wander along this historic area lined with yachts and boutique shops. Oh my gosh, wow. I mean, this whole district is like by the water. It's on like a pier. And you may, might see some yachts. <laughs> wow. Take the short ferry to the museums of Big Day to journey deeper into Oslo's rich history. Oh, wow. You can take a ferry? I mean, <laughs> I know Norway is somewhat known for ferry rides. Which is very funny. I don't think I've ever been on a ferry ride in my entire life, but this place looks amazing. Visit the Viking Ship Museum to see a stunning display of 800-year-old longships. I, I have seen, I have seen about this museum before. This is amazing. And the fact that they actually have like a literal Viking longship on display, you can actually get quite close to it. Like, this, I don't know if this would fly in America. Like, people would be reaching over, like, trying to break off a piece of the boat or something to take home. Many believe these fierce warriors were amongst the greatest seafarers that ever lived. Wow. Very cool. At the Fram Museum, learn how the crews of early polar expeditions survived in one of the coldest and most dangerous places on Earth. Oh, so this museum also teaches you, like, about uh, ships and nautical stuff, how to navigate and how they, how they navigated back in the day in the ocean. That's pretty cool. Walk through the original interior of the Fram, the strongest wooden ship ever built, 
designed to withstand the crushing pressure of the ice flows. Wait, wait, is this, uh, is this a recreation or is this an original? I feel like this boat must be a reconstruction of a very, very famous boat. There's no way that's the original, right? Either, either way, it's pretty awesome how they built it. How you can walk around and like kind of see all sides of it. The nearby Contiki Museum is a tribute to an epic adventure that captivated and inspired a world exhausted by the Second World War. Wow, the Contiki Museum. I haven't heard of this. Look at this boat. It's a... Uh, man, is this a recreation as well? These are awesome displays. Like, sometimes museums, let's be honest, sometimes a museum can really miss and be a bit boring. These museums in Oslo are good. These are good. This boat, it's like made from thatched, like uh, gathered up bundles of straw or sticks. Or activated and inspired a world exhausted by the Second World War. Wow. There's so many different designs of Norwegian ships that I didn't ever know about. In 1947, Norwegian adventurer Tud Heyerdahl successfully sailed from Peru to Polynesia on a crude balsa wood raft. That is insane. That is insane. That someone sailed across the sea in this thing. Like, uh, that is, I mean, that's kind of what makes it fun to come see that in person. If, if you could see, if I could see this in real life and learn about how someone actually stood on that thing, on those uh, logs <laughs> tied together and went across the sea. Oh. Wood rot. Look at that. <laughs> also on the Big Day Peninsula is the Norsk Folk Museum. Oh, really? They're really loving the museums in this uh, video, which I don't mind, because they've been very, very good. Very good. Uh, much more entertaining than a lot of American museums I know of. The Norsk Muse... The Norsk Folk Museum. Okay. This large open-air museum has more than oh. 140 historic buildings and a vast collection of artifacts from the country's past. Oh my Enjoyed gosh, this is fantastic. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. It's an open air uh, museum. I've never even heard of that. You get, it's an exhibit. You get to walk around outside and see all the displays, the, the old buildings, and even people look like they're dressed up in older clothing, doing older tasks around the house and the teepee there. And man, this is, I love how interactive this museum is. And it's outside. I've never seen that. Enjoy demonstrations of traditional folk music and dancing and experience what life was like on traditional farms of the area. It, oh my gosh, this is fantastic. I did not know this was in Oslo. This is like, this is my favorite museum by far. And people are actually giving you horse carriage rides, playing the music, dancing. Man, what a fantastic way to kind of honor uh, Norwegian history. This is fantastic. The cows! It is not only <laughs> nautical pioneers that are revered in Oslo. Visit the Nobel Peace Center, which showcases oh. the achievements of pioneers in world peace. Man, I, did, I had no idea the Nobel Peace Prize had anything to do with Oslo. So n now that uh, the narrator reminded me, that I it makes so much sense. There's a... Nobel Peace Prize Museum, or it's the Nobel Peace Center. And you can kind of learn about all the winners. That's pretty cool. This sometimes controversial award is presented each year in the City Hall, one of Oslo's most famous and beautiful buildings. Wow, this is a city hall? <laughs> this is a city hall? Oh my gosh, they did a great job with the artwork, like a mural. And yeah, I forgot or didn't know that the Peace Prize is handed out in Oslo's City Hall. That is awesome. And what a great venue to do that. Wow. Wow. I mean, look at the, this is the nicest City Hall I've ever seen. Another of Oslo's premier buildings is its Opera House. Just the Opera House. I have heard of the Oslo Opera House and how you can go on the roof. This one I have heard of. A short stroll away 
<laughs> Said yeah. to resemble a glacier, its gentle sloping roof is a popular meeting place <laughs> and a great spot to enjoy a panoramic view. Oh, this is this is awesome. Even though I've seen this one before, this is awesome. Like, what a great idea. It's it's shaped like a glacier or mountain. <laughs> and you can just walk on the roof and get a great view. That is maybe one of my favorite designs for a building ever. Norway is home to one of the oldest monarchies in the world. Mm. And the royal palace, right in the center of the city, is their official residence. Oh, the royal palace is in Oslo, right. Where uh, the royal family comes out and waves to everyone on Constitution Day, right? I, I have learned about that. Enjoy the beautiful palace park, especially in the summer when the- Oh, I didn't know, <laughs> see. I wouldn't have thought that you can go marching around the palace or, or around the palace park or anywhere near the palace. That may, That is such a Norwegian thing that I actually really admire that. How Norway takes like the monarchy and royalty and really makes it much more accessible to normal people, much more down to earth. I really like this. So there's a park around the palace that you can visit and it looks beautiful when the sun doesn't set until after 11 p.m wait 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 what residents enjoy the beautiful palace park especially in the summer when the sun doesn't set until after 11 p.m uh i did not know the sun did not set till 11 p.m all the way in oslo that happens in oslo i did not know that Ah. As the day It's nice to see all the the Norwegians out with their family actually walking around. That's a bit different than America as well. It can be a bit depressing uh in American parks, uh especially in smaller towns and cities if no one's really out using them. But Norwegians seem so active and and really take advantage of the city and the park. It's nice. It's nice. Huh. As the day comes to a close, head back toward the docks to Thief Island. Thief Island? Is that what it's called? Thief Island, okay. In a land with a history of innovation and pioneering, this area is showing the world how urban renewal is done. Oh. Once a prison, today this dynamic area is full of art galleries, modern restaurants, and outstanding public art. Wait, what? Where is this island? So this is part of Oslo, and you can get to this island from a bridge? It used to be a prison. That's uh, interesting. And now it's like a public uh, art piece and public gathering place. That's very, that's fantastic, honestly. <laughs> is done. Once a prison, today this dynamic area is full of art galleries, modern restaurants. Art galleries, restaurants, of course, it's a very nice building as well. Typical Norwegian prison for you. And outstanding <laughs> public art. Ah, oh, nice. No very matter nice. where you wander in Oslo, this modern city with a heroic past. Oh man, this is like... I'm actually glad to see that they have some boats. I don't know if this is like a boat that's for tourists or something, but they have a lot of, like, obviously a lot of people own reg regular boats like on the dock, maybe that live in Oslo, but there's a lot of these older style boats, which are fun. It's full of character, flavor, and adventure. Wow, what a view as well. I, I didn't even mention the beauty of some of these views, like in the backdrop and it's ridiculous. And the water. And a lot of statues, a lot of public art as well. Such a fantastic job at making Oslo just seem so beautiful and so much stuff. Wow, that was good. That was good. Yep, Expedia has done it again. Uh, this is by Expedia, and I liked it. I liked it quite a bit. Man, man, oh man. This is just... Oslo is just seems like really chill, really nice and kind and warm, like if I had to associate a feeling with it, 
but also super beautiful and, I don't know, modern at the same time, technological. Lots of great museums. They had a lot of museums in this thing. And the Nobel Center, Nobel Peace Prize Center, City Hall, the Palace Park you can visit, and Thief Island. These were very good, very good suggestions. Viking Ship Museum, a couple districts. There's just, seems like there's endless awesome stuff in Oslo, but as for like a, a guide on some great places to uh, vacation and travel to in Oslo, I think this does a fantastic job. Fantastic recommendations. I, uh, I enjoyed this quite a bit. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway and Norwegian culture and stuff about Norway I've never seen before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.